Hello everybody, welcome to the lounge. How you all doing? So uh, today's going to be kind of an interesting day. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous episode, my parents moved into town and they handed me off a bunch of things that they've had at their house for a while. And one of the things they handed me was this. This ultra Jewish looking uh, wine glass is in fact my bar mitzvah glass from when I was 13. And my parents assured me that this thing is in fact uh, actual silver. Now I'm not overly attached to my bar mitzvah, but if this thing is actually silver, uh, that's of a little bit of interest to me. Now they do tell me that it was, and according to the inscription on it, it was made uh, in 1999. That was a cheap time for silver. So, uh, so far I weighed the smug and it weighed precisely six ounces. The precise weight was a good sign. Uh, it's not marked in any way from underneath. Something else I did with the smug is I checked its magnetism. I used a bunch of my fridge magnets to see if they attached to it at all. And it wasn't magnetic in any way, so that was also a good sign. And right now I'm actually running an experiment where there's an ice cube in here. And there's another ice cube uh, on the counter right here. And we'll see if it in fact melts the ice cube inside it far, far faster. Uh, than the ice cube on the counter because one property of silver is that it melts ice exceedingly quickly and uh, for now things are looking good. Now obviously the only way to truly tell whether something uh, is pure silver on the inside is to use nitric acid where you kind of make a little uh, gash in it, preferably in the bottom, and then you put a teeny bit of nitric acid on it and if the thing is all silver then it'll just turn like a creamy white color but if there's some other metal hidden underneath, then it's going to turn uh, some kind of dark green color as that reacts with the nitric acid. Uh, so let's take a look at our ice experiment. So there's been an ice cube inside that thing for just a few minutes. Yeah, it's definitely looking like... Uh, it's real silver that melted it quickly. Well, now that we know this is uh, actually potentially real silver and worth saving, now let me show you guys how to get all of this tarnish off of it. It is in really bad shape. Uh, there's a lot of tarnish. Basically, nobody's touched this thing uh, since I did when I was 13. So let me show you guys a really simple method. Uh, this is all you're going to need in order to remove the tarnish off of your silver. You need uh, roughly two and a half cups of hot water. I'm going to heat that up right now. You're going to need uh, some kind of container for your item. That's ideally a good fit for your item. You're going to need aluminum foil and you're going to need uh, roughly half a cup, let's say, for every gallon of water. So since we only have two and a half cups of water roughly, uh, I went with a quarter cup of baking soda. Right there, that's the baking soda. And I've seen a lot of variations of this where people use more or less salt. Uh, I went with about half the amount of salt uh, that I did with baking soda. Just regular table salt. So let me heat up the water and show you guys how it's done. Alrighty everybody, now we have our borderline boiling water right here and we've taken out a piece of aluminum foil. Now every piece of aluminum foil has a darker side and a shinier side. You're going to make sure you want the shiny side facing upwards towards your silver because we're going to make a chemical reaction to make the shiny part of the aluminum foil attract the tarnish on the silver. But first we just take our baking soda and we slowly mix it in. It's going to foam. If you do it too quickly, it might foam a little too fast. And then we're going to add the table salt. And now we're going to make sure that we mix that all up. bubbling quite a bit and now we want to take the aluminum foil and we want to make sure that we are lining the container make sure you don't rip your foil 
I tried to use a really small container that may actually touch the sides of the mug constantly because that's really the key here is we need the silver to make as much contact with the aluminum foil as possible. So now we put in our mug and it pretty much fills it up and now we pour in our solution. There we go. Pour it in until it's full. And even though we did our best here, you're going to need to move around the smug. But if you really zoom in into this, you can see a whole bunch of bubbles coming off. And that's your sign that this is working. That the chemical reaction between the aluminum foil and the tarnish is taking place. And you can already see how much brighter the silver is. This is going to soak a little bit. You move it around, and I'll show you guys the end result in a minute. Voila, here we are everybody, and this is what the mug looks like after just one treatment of table salt, baking soda, and hot water. We certainly got a lot of the tarnish off, though uh, it could probably use another treatment. I ended up having to uh, rub it a little bit with a piece of paper towel, and a bunch of the uh, tarnish came off on that as well. But uh, otherwise, real easy and successful. Though, once again, we have not proven beyond a reasonable doubt that it is fully 100% silver, or rather 92% silver, which is more common. Uh, to do that, you do need to use the nitric acid method. I'll link to it in the description if you want to know more about it. Uh, but if this is in fact sterling silver and is 92.5% uh, silver, then most likely uh, it is worth about 190 Canadian dollars right now uh, based on the current price of silver. There you go, guys. Hope this was educational. If so, subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you all next time.